Thank you uh, for being here. We're very happy that uh, the Supreme Court has heard Ms. Nick's case. She's an example of what, of what has happened to American property owners under the decision of Williamson County. For over 30 years, people like Ms. Nick, who've had their people invaded, had their property invaded by the government, have had no reasonable way to prove that what is happening to them is a taking of their property that gives them a right to just compensation. Williamson County, the name of the, this, this decision that put unique and onerous hurdles in front of property owners who are trying to recover their just compensation has run wild through the federal and state courts for three decades without any compelling reason. We're hopeful that the Supreme Court will open up all the federal courthouse doors to property owners like Ms. Nick who simply seek to have their day in court to prove that they have had their property taken. It's been a long process for her to get here, Ms. Nick. Five years of litigation, no up or down ruling on whether her property's been taken or not. And we hope that that ends here and that she will have the opportunity as an American citizen to prove that the government has taken her land when it opposed an easement on her property. The easement at issue on Ms. Nick's land allows the public to access her property seven days a week, 365 days a year, to walk 300 yards over a wetland to view some stones the township says is a burial ground. Whether or not it has a good reason, the Constitution requires it to recognize that taking the easement is a taking that requires just compensation. And we're hopeful the court will see that. My name is David Bremer. You want to say a few things? Uh, yes, I would. Come up here, too. Actually, I have some notes, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's prepared. She's prepared. I know my mind is going Today isn't just about me, it's about all Americans. When this all started 10 years ago, I didn't know anything about Williamson County. The more I got involved, the more I began reading up on it, and the more shocked I was. I kept saying, how can government keep getting away with taking away people's property rights? I don't want this to happen to anybody in this country. I never dreamed in a million years that I'd be in the Supreme Court defending my property rights. But government didn't give up, and so here I am. I want to say thank you to all of the justices of the Supreme Court. I want to thank Attorney Dave Bremer. He did a wonderful job making our case, which I hope the justices agree. I want to thank all of the individuals and organizations that filed a brief to support my petition case. And I don't know where I'd be without Pacific Legal Foundation. They came to the rescue when, no one else, when I had nowhere else to turn. Everyone there has been great to work with. And when I saw David Bremer up there today fighting for our rights, I was so proud. So thank you, Dave, the Pacific Legal Foundation, the Supreme Court, and all of you for being here today. And oh, thank wait, wait. God. Yeah. <laughs> thank God. Paul Scott with CBN News, the Broadcasting Network. So what was your feeling when, the, when your town, Scott Township, did this to you and started to say, you've got gravestones, you got to let these people on your land? What, what, what did that feel like? Oh, it was devastating. You know, I have private property, and, you know, I mean, can you just imagine what it's like to have people every day on your property? What would have happened if, if indeed they hit you with $600 daily fines? Could you sustain that? Absolutely not. I don't think anybody could. Thank you. Can you say a little bit more about why you never believed in a million years you'd be here? Can I say why I never believed? He, yeah, why you never Because I thought that I didn't think the go uh, government, the township, would be this ridiculous and do this to, to not only me, but any property owner. And then can you tell people who don't know a lot about Scott Township a little bit about yourself? Well, 
I, I think they should read the Constitution and pay attention to people's rights. That's what I think. More questions? I can say a little bit more about Scott Township if you like. So Scott Town, it's a very quiet area of rural land, farmland. Miss Nick, for instance, um, she has squash on there on her property and it's uh, used for different kinds of crops. Uh, very quiet and peaceful. And the idea that the township can turn her um, quiet farmland into a public park essentially without admitting that it needs to pay for what it takes is why we're here. It's not that the township or other governments have reasons to do what they do. It's that the Constitution governs the means by which they do it as well as the goals. And the means here are not respected and that's if they want an easement on her private property for the general public, they need to pay for it. But again, the case here, she can't even get an up or down ruling on that basic principle, do they have to pay or not? And so we're hopeful again that the court will, will correct that and allow people like Ms. Nick to quickly and promptly get a fair hearing on whether their property's been taken.